The newly appointed Minister of Science, Innovation and Technology is heading an initiative to bring foreign workers to Israel to work in Israel's prestigious high-tech sector. Now to tell us more, I'm joined by our resident economy analyst and I24 News host, Ariel Margalit. Now, what is the minister saying and uh, who is she approaching with this initiative? She wrote a letter, Oit Falka Shokwen, Minister of Science and Technology, as you said, both to the head of the tax authority and to the head of the innovation authority in Israel saying Israel needs to bring more high-tech workers to Israel. Now we've discussed this in the past, there's a shortage here of employees in the high-tech sector. It's a booming sector, even during COVID year or to say years soon, it has exploded with funding and with new IPOs, etc. And she wants to see more employees in this sector. What a point of data that she comes up with, which is absolutely right, is that 25% of the taxes that are collected every year by the tax authority are from the high tech sector. And she basically says we can increase the state's income from taxation if we bring more employees here rather than having those companies employ people abroad. Right. Is that the only reason, though? It's not the only reason. There's yeah. 15,000 jobs that the high tech sector in Israel is lacking. And you know what's surprising is that this number has been more or less uh, steady for the last uh, five years or so. There was also an initiative back in 2016 by uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu then. He said we need to bring uh, more high tech uh, workers uh, into Israel. Nothing was done about that. We'll see if now uh, an actual concrete cross ministerial uh, plan uh, comes about um, that makes it feasible. But you know, it's, it's difficult. Basically what they're trying to tell high tech uh, companies here in Israel is don't hire em employees abroad. Now, Israeli high tech firms have employees in, in anywhere from uh, Ukraine to India, etc. A lot of these workers are very skilled and very cheap. They cost a quarter of uh, what Israeli uh, employees uh, uh, are asking for. Uh, the salary here for high tech employees, the average salary is around 35,000 shekels. Mm. Uh, the average general salary in the Israeli market is around 12,000. So that's more than twice as much. Uh, obviously, it's going to require high tech organizations to make a lot of adaptations. It depends on how many tax incentives they get and what the employees get because Israel is not a cheap place to live in for sure.